Hey guys, happy Saturday. Uh, talking to you this morning about forbearance. What is it and why is it a dirty word? Why you should stop promoting it? Uh, I was on three different calls this week with three different real estate brokerages and all three brokers are very, very heavily promoting forbearance. Call your buyers, call your closed clients, tell them about forbearance, tell them what a benefit we're offering them. The government's getting us a freebie, you know, you know let's, let's show them what value we're bringing back to these, these closed clients. Uh, guys, gotta stop. Uh, forbearance is a dirty word. That is the wrong message. Uh, really false information. Uh, the way that our government and our media has put this out there is that it is a freebie. You don't have to file for a hardship for it. You can just attest to it, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless with it, right? Because forbearance is never, it's not, it's nothing new. Forbearance has always been there, but forbearance should be a last resort. And so this morning, I'm gonna go over exactly why that message needs to be reversed. And, and you know how it's affecting our market and how forbearance and specifically the promotion of forbearance in these times is a uh, solid contributor to what we're seeing with this market collapsing right now. So very briefly about how the mortgage market works. <sighs> we got a buyer, all right? Buyer wants to get a home. So he comes to me, he says, hey Alex, uh, originate my mortgage, right? So I do that, we originate his mortgage and then that loan gets picked up by a servicer. All right, so what does the servicer do? The servicer collects payments. The servicer manages the escrow. They make sure that your insurance gets paid, that your taxes get paid. They're gonna field questions from the buyer. They're maintaining that loan, they're managing that loan, but they do not own the loan. All right, who owns the loan? The investor, all right? The investor owns the loan. So the servicer collects payments and delivers payment to the investor. Now, who's the investor? We always say that people say, who is that? Who is he? Um, it's not an individual. An investor is a, a giant entity uh, such as uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, uh, Ginny Mae are a few of the big ones that, that people will probably recognize. There, there's a number of them, but those are three big ones. They actually own that loan, right? So we originate it. It goes to a servicer who collects the payments, pays out the escrow, and eventually money gets delivered to the investor because these are the owners of the loan. Now, what does that investor do with that money, all right? Because they don't just keep it. I mean, what do they do with it, right? So what the investor does is they give it to Wall Street, all right? So this is a group of investment bankers, uh, could go to a number of places, but just for this example, uh, goes to a bunch of investment bankers. And what do they do with the money? They convert your mortgage-backed security into these things, 401k, insurance plans, retirement plans, mutual funds, index funds, all these different financial instruments that you as an individual put your money into to watch it grow, all right? So when Joe buys his house, it eventually follows this line, comes down here, and all of a sudden, Joe can put his money back into the market. He bought a house, didn't even realize that the money he's put into the market is backed by the house that he bought. So it's a giant system, right? Now, how does forbearance play a role in this? Uh, I'll show you. So we have, again, Joe bought his house, mortgage company. Now all this money is being paid to the servicer, right? Because Joe is paying the servicer his mortgage. When we enter forbearance into the equation, we stop the flow of this money. Payments stop coming in, all right? And last year, the servicing industry, they made $10 billion, roughly. Mm -hmm. Projections, if we forbear what they're, or go into forbearance, forbear, if we go into forbearance with what they're saying that we're gonna see, for only six months, they're going to lose $70 billion dollars, all right? So they made 10 billion in 2019, projecting that they could lose up to 70 billion over the next six months. Now, why is this important? Because whether or not the servicer receives money, they're on the hook to pay the investor. They're still responsible for these payments, all right? And if everything is stopping or if 40% of it's stopping or whatever it's gonna be, the whole system co collapses, the whole system crashes, right? So now the investor's not receiving their money, the bankers on Wall Street aren't getting their money. They're not converting it into different uh, financial instruments. You know, your money is tanking. Uh, the whole system bottlenecks, right? And so that's why you're seeing right now lenders that are increasing their minimum credit score requirements. You see the cost of rates. The rates are increasing. You see the cost of those rates increasing drastically. Um, you see people that are going into forbearance that put a minimum down payment on their home that are now all of a sudden upside down on their mortgage, right? If you're a realtor, you know, is it harder or is it easier to sell a home when the buyer is upside down on their mortgage? Um, if you're helping a buyer buy a home, is it harder or is it easier to help a buyer with stricter qualification requirements? Um, you know, these are things that we all have to, <coughs> excuse me, um, that we all have to consider um, because that's why we're seeing what our market is doing. So we'll go into a much more detailed call that we're going to post on Monday that goes over the market, 
how it works, what you can do. But in the meantime, if you're a realtor or a broker that's promoted forbearance, call those buyers back. Uh, tell them what's going on and tell them the facts because forbearance is not forgiveness. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, if you need anything, uh, please give me a call. We're here to help. But I wanted to go over very briefly just what we're looking at and uh, and, and how that can play a role to, um, you know, with all of us. So anyway, y'all have a great weekend. If you have questions, uh, let me know and we will post a much more detailed call uh, this Monday. Thanks. Bye.